How are you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> and as we know, it's going to get colder. We're at minus 123, we're going to minus 130. So watch your step going in. If you start to take your robe off, I'll adjust the height. Thank you, I've got that. Hands in preposition and I'm going to press start. You feeling okay? It is. How does it feel when you start your day with cryo, Dahlia? More energised. Like I feel like I'm a bit more ready. Yeah. Because I usually end my day with cryo. And ending your day with cryo, as you know, helps you get a good night's sleep, right? So, but if you do want to have that edge when you're starting the day, obviously get in and have a session in the morning. How are you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> and as we know, it's going to get colder. We're at minus 123. We're going to minus 130. Please take a quarter of a turn. So when I started, your team always so nice. Why did you me? Yes. Conversation. Yes. Yes. Especially if you find it challenging to do a session, getting your breathing right also helps you go in there in a more relaxed state, right? You've been doing cryotherapy for quite a while with us, Dahlia. Like, do you find it as challenging as you did at the beginning or is it much easier to do now? I think it's definitely much easier because I, I'm aware of the benefits. Yes. When I'm more consistent with my treatment, yes. it becomes a lot easier. It does, yeah. yeah. Yeah, with cryotherapy, it's cumulative. So you are getting more benefits the more um, consistent you are with the treatment. Three, two, one. There you go. I'm going to pass you your robe. So how are you feeling, Dahlia, now you've done your cryo session? Great. And what would you say to anyone still sitting on the fence about trying cryotherapy? Uh, just do it. <laughs> Great advice. There you go. <laughs>